Okay, I am sitting down with you today. I'm I'm kind of nervous to do this video, to be honest, because it's really just opening up my experience, my worst experience in a technical interview. And no, this video isn't talking about how the interviewer was terrible or anything like that, but more so because I wasn't properly prepared for the technical interview. And I want to share with you things that I would do different. And this video is really important because I think at no matter what stage you are at in your career, we all have those moments of technical interviews where we look back and go, if only I would have properly prepared or if only I would have had the right support. And there's always those if onlys, but when you're actually preparing for an interview, that's a whole other thing of making sure you're covering those if onlys before they occur. So yes, today we are talking about how I bombed my technical interview. As someone who has been in technology now for over five years as a software developer, there are so many things that I've learned along the way through doing many, many technical interviews. And especially when I was starting out in my career, things that I wish I would have done differently. So I hope through this video, you will gain some insight and uh, knowledge as to what to do, but also what not to do. And throughout this conversation, I am going to be highlighting and speaking about formation. Formation is something I cannot even tell you how much I wish I knew about when I first started my technical career because it would have made my interview process a lot easier. Formation was founded from two engineers, both at Meta and Nextdoor, who have collectively interviewed thousands of software engineering candidates and noticed the same skill gaps popping up over and over again. Formation has a fellowship that really supports and champions engineers throughout their careers. And I'm going to be highlighting some of my favorite things about Formation throughout this video to really give you more insight into it and alongside talking about the things I would do differently and how I would do them. Okay, enough of me talking. Let's just, let's just jump right into this. Ah, I'm nervous. Okay, I'm gonna be very honest in this. Okay, I'm just on my way to the co-working space. We can sit down and just fully dive into this. Hi, I feel so professional sitting here, like, welcome to my office. Um, okay, so anyways, I really wanted to, back to the point, I really wanted to sit down with you and talk to you more about what I wish I had. And the first thing that comes to mind instantly is lack of mentorship. I remember when I was navigating and preparing for this interview, doing things that what I thought I could do, I felt and I knew I needed more mentorship, but I didn't know where to get that from. As someone who went from fashion into tech, I didn't have all this this big network of people who worked in tech. And when I did meet people in tech, there were some great people, but I didn't have access to mentors that were from Fang or Mang, if you want to say companies, or just top tier tech companies who really would help get me or help me land a job in one of those companies. And I think that had a huge impact on how my interview went because I didn't know what to expect. And if I would have had a mentor from one of those companies or from like a top tech company or someone that was in the industry for a while, they could have better prepared me. I could have been better prepared. I would have known how the interview flowed and all of that. And mentorship is honestly, it's the first thing I want to talk about in this video because it's the most important thing in my opinion. I mean, having that support from someone and feeling supported is honestly, sometimes just half the battle. And that's one of the things that really stood out to me about formation is how they actually pair you with a mentor based on the skills that you have and that you are looking to or that you are needing to improve on. And it really gives you this access to this whole engineering community of mentors who have worked, who have been in your position, but also who have worked at top tier tech companies, many who still do, who can mentor you through that interview process. And when I was looking through this, one of the things that stood out to me too is many different programs say they have senior engineers on their teams, but you don't have the opportunity to learn and interact with them or from them. And at Formation, you work directly with senior engineers from companies like Google, Facebook, who have interviewed hundreds, hundreds of candidates and even trained other interviewers. So they know what they're doing. They have been through this before and you're learning from the best. Another thing too is Let's talk about algorithms. During this interview, I was given, oh, am I gonna tell you? Okay, let me tell you, a very simple algorithm. Like I am talking, just, it's, it was beyond, and it was, it's so embarrassing. It was, um, it wasn't even an algorithm. They gave me a question, and it was basically, what would be one plus 
the number one plus, I think it was one, but as a string. And I kept on thinking, well, it's two. It's obviously two. Like, what do you mean? Cause I was so nervous. I literally like was sweating and I just, I knew I was going downhill. So they were just trying to be nice by asking me like basic questions. And it was just terrible. And this isn't because, you know, I didn't know what I was doing. I definitely did. But did I properly practice algorithms and data structures? Probably not. And would I have practiced something that simple? No, of course not. That's something I would have just known. But because I didn't take the time to actually go and practice different algorithms and practice different questions, I felt so unprepared and I was so unprepared. And in turn, it really messed with my mind and just made me forget literally everything. Like beyond. And one of the things I wish I would have done looking back is practice more algorithms, practice more data structures. And I think the reason I didn't is because it can become so overwhelming when you look online at different, uh, you know, Reddit or different forums online of people who are grinding eight hours a day or more on leap coding. You're like, is this what it takes to get a job now? Like I have to have a job of getting a job essentially, which in some cases it does, but it just, it was so, it seems so crazy to me to spend, you know, eight plus or 10 plus hours on leak code and getting, ugh. anyways, even thinking about it stresses me out. And one of the things that I wish I did more of or had access to more was one-on-one -on -one mock interviews. And this is something that Formation does is one-on-one -on -one mock interviews. So they understand that there is not a one size fits all approach to learning. Everyone needs a different amount of practice and might need things explained in a different number of ways to really understand it. And I think that's so key because they really recognize that learning how one person learns might not work for another person. Another thing during the interview I learned during the interview is where I needed to work on, what areas I needed to improve on. And let me tell you, learning that during mid interview technically is not where you want to learn that. It was not a fun place to be. I it literally, I didn't cry during that interview, but right when I left, I went out and I just bawled. Like it was so bad. I called my mom and I was like, this isn't for me. I can't do this. And she's like, well, maybe you just didn't prepare properly. And I was like, yeah, you're probably right. Mom knows best. But the point of that is you need to know your areas that you need improvement on. And sometimes you need someone else to tell you that because it's one of those things that you don't know until you start diving down that area. And with formation, something that really stood out to me is you're getting constant feedback. You are working with these mentors on a constant, a continuous basis. You are getting the feedback of areas that you need to improve on. And in turn, because of that, you are going to learn so much quicker and grow so much quicker and develop these skills so much quicker all because you're getting that constant feedback, that cycle that's going on. And that is something that I did not have. And I think it really impacted my, my interview process. Formation actually has adaptive learning technology and it uses data points. So I love how they use technology in this as well to inform your next optimal step. So you know, okay, I've completed this step. And based on this data, this is where I need to focus on. They also have extensive support for job search training to ensure your applications are getting seen and reviewed by recruiters because that is something that if you don't know how to structure your resume right or what keywords to put in, your resume not, might not even be seen by recruiters or get through the application process to a recruiter's hands. And the problem with that is you might've been perfect for the job, you just didn't structure your resume right. And I really love how they recognize this and put some focus on it as well. Another thing that I think is so, so important to highlight that you get access to with Formation is that you get access to people who have worked at top tier tech companies so they know what they look for during interviews. And I know I already mentioned this, but I really wanted to highlight it because I don't think you realize how key that is until you are in a position like I was in where you're going through the interview and you're like, well, I didn't know they would ask me this. I didn't expect that this would come up. Does this matter how I say this? Does this, like the littlest things, but they all add up and you might not even realize that a simple question they are asking you, they are looking for certain answers or certain ways that you are structuring your answer. And if you have access to that, you can completely change it. And I think that's something, another area during my interview process, I completely just messed up because I was so flustered by that point that I was like, there's, it's just going downhill from here. And my face, I remember was beet red. I had like 
sweat stains. It was brutal. And just looking back, I honestly, I'm not disappointed in myself for not training properly because through that came learning. And I believe that, you know, you have to learn through that, but would I do it again? Absolutely not. And on that note with formation, you get direct referrals to fan companies. So it's not even one of those things where, you know, you have to be knocking on fan companies doors. They are giving you direct referrals to companies that are best suited for you and your goals and your career. Okay, throughout this video, we've talked a lot about formation, what makes it stand out. We've also shone light on my very embarrassing technical interview stories, but what we haven't spoken about yet is pricing. And I think it's a really important conversation to have as well. And one thing that I wanna talk about is how transparent formation is with their pricing. So they offer, I have it in front of me here, three different options, full program, mid program, and interview focus. And what they do is they take a percentage of your base salary. So for example, for full program, it's 15% of base salary that's paid over 12 months and is up to 25,000. Then for example, if we go to interview, 9% of your base salary paid over six months up to 15,000. And maybe your initial thought is, wow, that's a lot. Like I'm giving away a lot of my salary. But if you are someone who is watching this video and you've gone through a technical interview before, you know that isn't a lot because the amount of help and support and mentorship that you will get for such a temporary payoff, I think is really amazing. And I love how they make it so accessible by, you don't have to pay up front, for example, you can use, once you actually get a job, that's how much they believe in their program, then through that, they will take a percentage of your salary up to a certain capping point. So I thought that was pretty cool how they are so transparent about that. Okay, you know what? Listen, I started out failing tech interviews, now here I am in my, a person office. I'm just kidding, this is not my office. But in all reality, I hope you enjoyed this video and most importantly, found it very valuable and helpful uh, not only to hear about my failures in the tech industry for technical interviews, but also to hear what I would have done differently and share with you more about formation. So I've linked formation down below, so make sure to go check it out. Uh, and if you have any questions around it, leave down in the comments and I will see you all soon. Thanks everyone. Bye.